Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can summarize filtered data. Two main ways of doing it. So the problem with filtering data is if you've got a formula at the bottom, it doesn't actually pick up the filtered data. So what I'll do on this one is I'll just put filter on there. I'll go data filter just to put that on manually. There I've got some information. Now if I get the bottom there and do the sum function to add up this salary column, I'll use the key command which is alt equals. It grabs the list, click the tick, gives me the answer. If now if I now filter this, if I go for let's go for a course, let's go for equal ops. I take that tick off all and select equal ops, click OK. It still says the same number, so that's showing the the whole thing. Now, if I just undo that, control Z undo, that would be the same for count. If I did equals count, I'll go equals count A for that one. Let's grab this column. It's going to do exactly the same. Just tick that and then filter it again. So, whichever function you use, this isn't the way to do it because that's showing the whole thing. So, I'll just delete those two off. Get rid of that. Get rid of the filter, select all, bring it all back. The function you should use in this first example is a subtotal function. So if I do the same sort of thing, if I go equals sub total, the subtotal function comes up there. You can press your tab key to get it. And then you get all these different options. Now, nine, if I just click on nine, nine is a sum function. You need to do a comma and then select the range like that. And then just close the bracket, click the tick. And then that's the same figure. But now watch what happens if I do the filter again for equal ops. See, that's now adjusted to represent just these. If I highlight these, you can see that same figure down the bottom there for the sum. Get rid of the filter. Bring it all back on. Click OK. And then do that on this one. I'll do the equals subtotal. Press tab. This time I'll go for count A. Count A, comma, control shift up. And tick that. Now that's picking up the title, so I probably need to come down a one. I'll just highlight it. 21, do a filter, equal ops, okay, seven. So that is working. So if you've, if you've just put the filter on yourself and you're just using the manual filters like this, the subtotal function is what you should use and then you'll get the right answer. If you format your data as a table, which is what I want to do on this one, so I'll just go back to home and select format as a table. Let's just pick any old color scheme. It's asking me if I've got headers, I do. Click OK to that. And then it applies this. Now, on formatted tables, you have this tab appears to help you select things. One of the things you can select is this total row. And you'll get the total row at the bottom there. Which if I click on that, you can see it's automatically putting the subtotal function in for me and it's looking at the column called salary and that puts that in square brackets. The same thing I'll apply now. If I do a filter there, select equal ops, it just adjusts in the same way as it did over there. If I bring that back and do the count, so under this option, so I've got the totals there, so each column has got its own little drop down. So I can go count. Now you've got count numbers, which does what it says on the tin, and count. Now click on count, and you can't see that because of the color of the font, so I'll just change that. Um, I think that's because I've got this colored up. Let's just see if I can knock, knock the fill off this. Let's just go no fill for a minute. Uh, change the font to white. 
Yeah, it's not the best colored font, but never mind. You can see that there's 21 items, and if I do the same thing again, the same filter again, equal ops, okay, seven, and it's doing exactly the same as that. And again, you can see the function up there. We've got the count function doing that. So format as a table gives you that feature if you activate it via the totals row. You can take that on or off. You can put it back on. It's just remembered what you had. Um, or if you don't want to format it as a table, you can do it there, but you have to use the the actual functions, the subtotal function for sum and the subtotal function for count, if that's what you want to do. So that's all I want to show you in this little example. I'll just put that back on. How you can use the subtotal function to add up filtered data or count filtered data on how you can use the same thing in a formatted table which is a bit more automated so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one don't forget to subscribe